What's up my dudes, Valk here, and today I'm going to be going over some Tinya tips and tricks to help you guys out. I'm a, I have played this game almost 30 hours now, I believe, somewhere around there, and I love Tinya, and I've been playing the hell out of him, so I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks to go ahead and play it, to play him out, to kind of figure him out, and basically learn how to play him and play him really well, because I see a lot of Tinyas, most of them just like to do the triple alpha combo. They don't really do a lot of resource management, whenever you can be much nasty with Tinya, you can be an absolute menace. Um, the way I play Tinya is very hyper aggressive. I'm normally the first one on my team to engage. I love playing Tinya like that. It's just just really fun for me. So let's go back over to our volunteer, uh, Araka. But I'm going to go to Ochiko after we go over some very simple mobility basics. Just some things, just for mobility, just to make it easier. So a lot of people know, like what I just did on that tree, that Tinya can, in fact, just run up walls. But what a lot of people don't know is if you're climbing up and then you hit the shift button or whatever your sprint button is, you will start sprinting in the middle of a climb. So if I'm jumping from building to building, for example, or I need to, like, if I need to look up, I do an alpha, and then I grab, I can sprint up the rest of the way. That's just one little tip for you guys. Um, another thing is, I don't know how many people know this, right? Because i never seen anybody do it. But Tinya can fly, like, genuinely. If I go to the center of the Typhoon Center here, I go to the very middle of it, I can actually get out of here by using his cooldowns and his cooldowns I actually recharge fairly quickly so don't be afraid to use them liberally just for movement so that's another thing is that you can use his cooldowns to really fly around he is a flight character he can fly uh, he's really good for that so then another mobility trick that actually comes up more than you think so let's say you're doing this you're doing this but then everyone knows about reciprocal burst here that's not very good you can dodge roll to cancel it the reason Reciprocal Burst isn't very good because if you're in a tight situation, you're doing Reciprocal Burst to try to move around quickly, to do faster moves, to do all that good stuff, to kind of just try your to have your pop-off moment. Whenever it runs to zero, this is what happens. You become unable to do anything, and you're dead here. You are almost certainly dead here. But if you guys didn't know, whenever you do Reciprocal Burst in the air, whenever you do Gamma, uh, gamma in the air, you're able to do a little jump, and you can dodge roll the startup of reciprocal burst with using that jump. So I can do something very silly, like I can, let's say I'm here, here, and I'm trying to make it to this building. Well, I pressed the wrong button there. <laughs> but let's say, let's say I'm here, here, and I'm trying to make it to this building. And now I can dodge roll to cancel, and I made the jump anyways. So it's something that actually comes up a lot. It makes you a little bit harder to hit whenever you're doing this because it's such a different jump like normally the jumps are very floaty whereas this is just really quick up and down a really big arc so those are just some mobility tips with Tinya because you want to be hyper mobile you want to be constantly moving around last mobility tip with Tinya everybody knows the normals all the normals Tinya's normals are very mobile he moves back and forth a lot but more importantly he has an air kick normal that covers really good distance. You can see I almost made it back to the building there. This air kick normal covers really good distance. It lifts you up a little bit higher than whenever you started it. So you're able to just kind of use it to lift yourself off the ground slightly. So it's really good for mobility if you just need to do it. And it also has excellent tracking, as you can see right there. It has a, It's a very, very good tracking move. So we're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna knock her because I needed to reset to kind of go over the rest. So I'm just gonna knock the Ochaka real quick. Um, don't really want to show too much yet. Don't want to reveal too much. But now I can go over downed combos. So let's say you're in a situation where there's a bunch of enemies around you. You need to pull her away to actually finish her because her allies are going to help. So you want to do one, two, three. And then you could do air combos normally there because we didn't get very far, but we're against the wall. So I'm going to try to actually pull her away to show you guys the amount of distance you can actually get unless I just miss it's that's the thing about Tidia is he doesn't always feel right right so here we're gonna do this we're gonna do this and we missed again because she's flying weird I think it's because I got ahead of her I'm just gonna kill her and start over <laughs> cut the tape cut the tape all right so we'll go over guard breakaways so normally you would want to enter a fight using your beta using this move because it has amazing tracking now whenever you use it make sure you jump before you use it because look at the difference in tracking between jumping and not jumping you saw me not jump earlier the very little you jump up it goes very far now once you do your beta you want to back away for a second because they're probably going to retaliate and you have to decide whether you're going to jump kick to try to dodge something 
or you're going to press even more. If you're going to press even more, at that point you go alpha, alpha into them, and you're guaranteed a normal string after that's going to guard break most people at 50%. Even with a level one alpha, if you have upgraded alpha, it's only going to be more. Now you have them guard broken. This is where your bread and butter is. There's a lot of Tinias that like the triple alpha, but whenever you do that, if you triple alpha, let's say I was a triple alpha her, uh, you can see I'd have no cooldowns, she would be able to get up, and I couldn't ha fight back. I would have to be relying on beta, which isn't that good of a combo move. It hits very hard, but you want to combo a lot of Tinia. So instead of doing triple alpha, hopefully I don't mess this up, yeah, it, it bounced weird this time. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it. I'm like, I could feel it in my bones. I'm like, she's going to bounce weird, isn't she? So you can see here, you're going to want to do that. You're going to want to do the left click normal. And you're going to want to go ahead and just kick her because it does a ton of damage. And it's going to be able to push her really far. And it's going to allow you to have two actual alphas to where you have one regenerating whenever you're doing the kick. And you should be able to have two again to threaten a combo again or threaten to beta or whatever. So now whenever she's down, you're going to one, two, three, and the kick would connect if I actually aimed correctly, but I, my aim was a little bit off. So normally the kick would connect so you can have four connections. We'll just do this and try it again. Like I said, it's, it's very hard to play. The combos aren't exactly super consistent, but you can get the idea. Look how far she goes from where she was. She was over here. And now she's over here. I use this so much to finish people off to where I can just drag them away by just using beta swipes and then using alphas to just drag them away from their team so they the team cannot help them. So I can just keep pressing and pressing. So that's basically it. The only other thing is whenever you actually have a reciprocal burst or gamma active, it opens up new opportunities. So normally, if you were to beta into alpha, it just doesn't work. It, there, there's hit lag there to design to stop you from doing that continuation. However, if you activate reciprocal burst here, uh, this now combos. And you can see exactly how that goes. So you, once Reciprocal Burst is active, you can do very wacky combos, but here's the downside to it. You're going to basically uh, burn out, and you're going to be stuck, and that's going to be very stinky. So here, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. We're going to not climb the wall, because <laughs> I'm bad at the game. Alright, so we're going to do this, this, this. And we missed the last kick. Like I said, it's not always going to happen. But the main thing is just drag her or drag them away from their team. You just don't want them to get that res off. And whenever they're like lying down dead like this, like there's not much that they can really do to stop it. So you can just chase down and just pursuit and just mess people up. Now, there's a lot of situations you're going to end in whenever you are in Ida and you're like in a 1v3 scenario. Or you're let's say you're rolling up on people and you're diving in. Don't be afraid to lead with Gamma, because Gamma has insane range, and it can allow you to put up over, like, get on top of people, so you can come in from over top. Like, you can use Gamma to get up in the air, and then you come down, and then you just do funny Tinya combos, and just start comboing them. You can see what I mean by the two alphas. Now I'm back at three by the time she's ready to fight, so I can keep cycling my cooldowns better by using the kick to follow up the two. So you have better cyclage on your cooldowns. And then here, we're just going to try to pull her away. We're going to use this to follow up. Boop. Like I said, with Tinya, he's just a massive bully. Tinya basically wins every 1v1 outright because you have a lot of ability to outplay. Like, let's say I'm here. I can do that. Or, like, I can be here. I can do something like here, jump... Uh oh, I didn't want to activate that. But anyways, I can do something like here, jump away, turn around, or here, jump away, and then knock this. But no matter what, the big number is three. You can never really do more than three follow-ups unless they're knocked on the ground, because the game really doesn't want you to combo. You can do it. Uh, it's definitely possible to do something where you do all, where you do like three in a row. It's definitely doable. It's just very, very, very hard and inconsistent because it messes up the auto-tracking. So for like here, if I were to do this, 
Oh, let's try this one more time. Let's let our alpha build up. Well, I guess that works. That'd be a very funny combo to hit in the match. Uh, it's probably because they broke in the middle of it. I wonder if breaking, guard breaking, actually resets the combo points. Give me a second, guys. I got some playtesting to do. Um, I, if guard, if breaking guard resets the combo, you could probably do some very wacky stuff. Let me see. I don't know if it does. I'm going to find out right here. So we're going to do this. And then I'm going to try to do all three plus a kick. So we're going to boop. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Okay, that's good to know. So it still counts as a combo, even though you just guard broke. That's good to know. Uh, but yeah. Tinya is very sick. I really like doing combos with Tinya. Makes me feel very good. Makes me very happy that he's as good as he is. But yeah. Tinya's super, super sick. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.